welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have another exciting project to show you. It's a combination of decorating project. We have a bit of tiling to do, a bit of painting to do, and also a bit of uh, wallpaper fitting to do. So we hope you're going to enjoy watching the project as we enjoyed doing it. So we're going to start with uh, the tiling, and then we're going to end with the wallpaper fitting. So with no further ado, let's get started. So guys, the first part of the project is to remove the current house surrounding the tarp sink. Um, and then uh, when this is removed, we need to fill uh, the holes. Uh, we can see one there. So this has to be filled up. And uh, after that, we need to apply uh, on the holes um, the primer before uh, applying the tarp adhesive. And then we need to let it dry before applying the, the tars as a diff. So for now, let's uh, first remove all these uh, current tars and then uh, we're going to prepare the holes. The tiles have been, uh, have been removed, so you just need to uh, clean this up and fill the gaps before uh, preparing the holes for, for adhesive. So let's first clean this up and then we start preparing the holes for adhesive. We need to do, we need to clear the dust um, and uh, preparing the holes for, for adhesive. And uh, for this job, we need to get the uh, protecting glasses, the noise broker, and the uh, mask also because it's a bit uh, dust here. And uh, uh, yeah, this is what uh, we need for, the, for, the, for this job. Now the holes are free from dust and clean. So what we need to do now, as we are doing, is to uh, apply on the hole the primer to prepare the hole for the tarp adhesive. And then we need to let it dry before applying the tarp adhesive to the hole. While waiting for the primer to, uh, to dry, we, uh, we are taking the measurement to cut the tiles. So the area we are about to, uh, uh, to cover with the tiles is uh, it's about 60 centimeters square. So we have three uh, uh, big tiles that we need to cut the first two in half. So 30 centimeters each so that that will go perfectly in the middle of, uh, of the hole. So this is what we are doing now. We are taking the measurement to cut uh, the tiles while the primer is drying. So 
So the first two measurements are taken. Now we need to cut them. But to cut them, because this is a ceramic tiles, the shape of a brick is not completely smooth. So instead of using the tile cutter, the manual one with the blade, it's better to use um, the electric one, the electric cutter. Uh, because the blade might not uh, cut perfectly uh, the tiles. And then when you want to break it, it might not break straight. It might break in pieces. So it's better to use you know, the electric one. So you cut that on the line you just marked. So this is what we're going to do now. First, we need to uh, we need to fill some water in the machine so that it's lubricated. So to cut your tiles, it's better to do that outside your house or outside the place you are working to avoid. Um, uh, to dirty the place, so it's better to do that outside for dust and stuff like that. So. We just did our final marking. Now we can uh, we can prepare to cut. cut straight and neat so we have to do the second one and we have our second cut straight and neat again all the time so now we need to uh, check if the primer is dry to start um, uh, filling the holes and uh, preparing the, the tiles are easy to start uh, uh, fitting this on the hole. And also some mask for the dust. Now we can see that the primer is, uh, is dry. So now we can start filling the holes because uh, the whole paper will be in this uh, in this uh, in this room. So yeah, start filling the the, the holes and uh, before applying the holes is very straight. There is no uh, holes in there, but you have to fill this one. Uh, but uh, the tile will stop somewhere here because uh, we are we we we're gonna mark here. The center is uh, is the tab. So the tile will be uh, across uh, across the tile. So but we need first to uh, to uh, fill this uh, this one. But for that, you have a filler. You need to apply. Because um, uh, the, the whole paper won't be done on day one, it will be done on day two. So uh, the filler is fine. So that we try for the day we will be applying the, the whole paper on the whole. But for now, uh, this area is dry with the primer. So now let put up, let, let apply uh, the tiles ad adhesive and then that start fitting the tiles on the whole. Uh, this uh, L shape of uh, the sink 
to the tiles. Now we need to cut a bit of here so that that will fit perfectly on the, uh, behind the, 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 the sink, the tap sink. So we need to cut this L shape and then fit that in. shape of um, the tiles that we go on the corner there have been cut so now we just need to uh, uh, first apply the adhesive on this uh, surface uh, and then uh, stick that against the hole that uh, is well cut and straight line uh, now we just need to fit it in Before um, applying the ground, you need to clean the tiles so the adhesive doesn't stick there because when it's sticking there, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to remove. So you just need to clean it up, and on day two, you're gonna grout it properly. Guys, now the first uh, the first job of this project is completed. Uh, the first is to, was to remove the previous uh, tiles that was on uh, the the tile sink and to fit the new one in. So this is what we did, and uh, finishing with the aging of uh, uh, of the tiles. So we need to let it set for one day, and then on day two we're gonna. Uh, cut it properly and uh, finish it because uh, uh, we also need to apply on the whole um, the whole paper but this will be done on day two after applying the card on the charge so for this one see you on day two uh, guys we finished working on the driveway so we just need to leave it clean as we found it so always leave the place clean when you finish working so this is what we are going to do today just, uh, just clean it up. This is clean. Let's move to the second part of the job, which is marking for for the painting because um, the holes have to be split in two, uh, in two color. So we have to start marking uh, the holes for the painting. So let's do it now. Now guys, we are moving to the second part of uh, the job, which is uh, the painting. Uh, and for that, uh, the client wants to split the hole in two different colors. Uh, at the moment, um, the color on the top is a bit of uh, um, light grey and uh, on the, the one below uh, it will be another colour but for that we need to uh, make a straight line uh, the client already gave me uh, the reference where uh, we, we, we should start throwing the line so which is here so we have to throw a straight line across across the room uh, and also on the steps so let's start doing it now, uh, drawing the line and uh, preparing the, the, the painting work. Here we did a bit of mistake, so always get with you, you know, uh, the white cloths so that we can uh, um, we can wipe it off 
and uh, when you go with the, 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 the pencil, don't go deep, just light, so that if you want to remove or if you made a mistake, it's easy to just wipe. So guys, um, you see now for uh, to do the stairs, we, uh, the reference is the stairs of this one. And um, because we stopped here, it's a straight line, um, we put the dot here. So now it has to be parallel to the roof. So we have to go like this now, up to the, to the top. So this is what we need to draw, a straight line and then when the straight line are done, we need to apply um, uh, just on top of uh, the, that uh, uh, a pencil line uh, a masking tape, so that when we paint, we also paint the lines we are drawing. So this is what we, are, we need to do now. Just finishing doing the line first, and then applying the masking tape just on top of uh, of the pencil line. And then so that when we paint, it's gone. So let's continue working on it. masking tape on top and um, I see how it goes and then maybe we may uh, today on day one we may start uh, the painting just to see how it goes and then tomorrow we can apply the second the first uh, the first coat so let's apply the masking tape so on this area this is the line we did so we already we also have the paint it's a premium one so we're gonna start applying and the first coat on the lines we just did. To have a good finish, you really need to take your time for this. So just go, you know, uh, smoothly and uh, slowly uh, to have a perfect uh, finish. And also use the, the lighter, uh, the smaller um, paint brush. Uh, which is uh, which is this one? As I mentioned, or I mentioned, uh, always get a wet cloth. So when you make any any small marks on the area where you don't want to paint, just because it's still wet, you can just wipe it off. So always get uh, a, a, a wet cloth with you. And when you do the painting, remember to always open the windows and door so that uh, it dries quickly with the air, with the fresh air. And also it's good for breathing, so you don't breathe the paint, you breathe fresh air. And um, you know, when you need uh, precision, for instance, on the on the light section, you don't need to use the, the, the bigger brush. Always use the smaller because you have the finishing. It's for the finishing. So you have a straight line um, across uh, the, the light switch. So you don't leave any marks. Uh, yeah. So use the smaller paint brush. Uh, 
as we did for the other side of, uh, of, uh, the, uh, of the hole. We apply the first coat uh, just on the line of um, the masking tape. We're going to apply the second coat and then remove this right away. So you won't, uh, you won't, uh, you won't remove the paint when uh, you remove the masking tape because you'll get a bit wet. So you'll be just removing uh, the masking tape, not the paint. So let's apply the second coat. The second coat has been applied. Now let's remove the masking tape to have a straight line. So guys, on this side of the, of the hole also you can see, we have a straight line here, a good finish. And then the next day, we're going to paint the whole hole. Welcome back to the channel. So this is day two of, uh, of the project. Um, so uh, yesterday, what we did, you know, we, re we remove uh, uh, some tiles on the, on the toilet uh, sink, and then we fit the new tile in. And uh, today we're gonna go at it and uh, let it dry for day three to check properly that everything was done perfectly. So we also did. Uh, uh, some painting, we start the painting work uh, because we need to split the hole into uh, two different colors. So we did the marking yesterday, we started uh, uh, painting uh, on those lines to see how it goes. So the job is going well at the moment, so we're going to carry on working on, uh, on, the, on the painting, starting with the painting and then do um, the, the, the craft later. And then when these are done, we do the wallpaper in the toilet. So let's get started. Uh, guys, another another tips. Um, you can see this lock uh, because we're going to paint also this area. So to paint something like this, you, you need to remove it. Don't paint around it or mask it. It's better to remove it, paint it, and then put it back in when, uh, when, uh, when you finish. So we're gonna remove it because this is a quick dry paint. So you remove it and then in about an hour or so, you put it back. So but, uh, let's remove it now and then uh, paint the surrounding.
finishing uh, painting on the, on the corridor and um, now we're going to paint on the, the landing and then the job for the painting will be completed. Guys, the painting work is now completed. Now, the remaining thing we need to do is just to remove uh, the masking tape uh, for the line we draw. And then uh, we're going to do the last uh, small uh, touching for the finishing, and then it will be completed. So, first, let's remove the masking tape. Guys, the painting work is now completed. I just want to show you what was done. Uh, we have a split between the holes, the, the two different colors. So this is what was done. So as we mentioned, this is uh, on day one. This is day two of, uh, of uh, the project. So we're gonna complete uh, the tiling today. So first of all, we have to uh, clean it up, and then we, we start applying the grout. So let's first clean it up, and then we'll, uh, we're gonna grout it. And to clean it up, the main tool is, uh, is the sponge, you know, to wipe it off. The, the crowd color that we're going to use it will be um, a light gray as the, the client requested. Cutting have been done. Now we need to uh, we let it dry for the tree, just to check for uh, uh, final checking and then clean it up. And uh, but now let uh, start working on the whole paper, which is the third um, part of uh, of this uh, of this project. The first we did um, uh, the painting, we did the tiling. Now let continue doing and finally the wallpaper. We're going to start working on uh, the wallpaper now. This is a hole and uh, we measure the hole uh, is uh, two uh, 
1.2 meter long. But we're gonna cut for we, we need to have some tolerance. So we're gonna cut 2.3 meter long. But uh, for for the whole paper, all paper always follow a pattern. So the thing is we need to find the pattern of this whole paper and then we're gonna cut it accordingly. The first cut is fine, but the second cut need to be cut accordingly so that the pattern is followed. So let's start working on it. I just found the pattern that uh, the wallpaper follow. So it's here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. So I don't know if you can see the pattern. So this is the pattern, you can see. So this brick, half of it is the end of, is the start of the other one. And uh, yeah, so we have to follow this pattern. So the first cut is always fine. But it's the second cut that needs to be cut accordingly to the first cut that you need to find the pattern. We already found it. So now we just need to uh, continue cutting. So this part is irrelevant, but it is this part that uh, will be interesting to me. Before starting laying your, your wallpaper, you need first to, to determine where you're going to start to avoid cuttings, a lot of cuttings. So we decided to start on this corner because of uh, the tiles we just uh, lay. So we, uh, we have less uh, uh, cutting to do. So this is the end of day two. I just want to show you how all was done today. Uh, so we started doing the wallpaper. Um, you can see that uh, here, but we haven't completed yet because uh, we need some more hope of wallpaper. So we're going to go and get them and uh, we're going to complete the job. But this will be done on day three. So you can see here, for instance, um, we still have to feed uh, the wallpaper on this part because it's not, uh, it's not done. I think it will be just one, uh, one sheet of paper that we can go there. But we need to uh, adjust it accordingly. So, and uh, on the other side, you can see it was uh, well done. It's a, it's a brick wallpaper. And that match exactly with um, the tiles uh, we just served it. If you can see here on the tab uh, sink, this is a, a, a tiles. It looks like a wallpaper, but it actually is a tiles around the sink. So 
on top also. But as I said, we are missing uh, uh, this part. This will be done on day three of, uh, of the project. And also uh, under, under the sink. We are also missing some, uh, some paper there. So this will be done also on day three. Yeah guys, so this is what was done today. Um, alongside with the painting uh, that was done today uh, on day three, uh, the, the job will be completed. See you on day three. Hello guys, so this is day three of the project, the day we are planning to, uh, to complete uh, uh, the project, but uh, we have to finish with uh, the remaining part which is uh, here, we have to wallpaper this place and also on this side, the long side because we are missing, uh, we were missing some wallpaper uh, on day two so we get the wallpaper, now let's get started And the remaining part is this uh, this small bit. We just need to uh, uh, find. We have a lot of wallpaper, so we just need to find the exact uh, part to fix there, and then the job is done. Yeah, we find the exact piece that need to go on top there. Now we need to uh, to clean everything and uh, we show you around what was done on this uh, on this project so guys i just want to show you the final product of what was done so this is a uh, toilet so just uh, around the, the same tab is um, uh, the tiling so you can see that this is the, the tiles it look like uh, the wallpaper um, bricks but uh, it's not it's the tiling there and then we surrounded that with the, the edging. So that was done. And uh, this is the final finish for the wallpaper. You can see.
Hello guys, thanks for watching the video. The project is now completed. We hope you enjoy watching it as we enjoy doing it. So it was a combination of three things in decorating. Yeah, the first was the, the paint, uh, splitting the holes in two. You can see part of it here, the technique we use. And we uh, also have to do some uh, wall hall paper uh, uh, on the, 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 the point. And um, I don't know if you can see here, is uh, the tiling, the tiles. So we have to remove the previous one and fit the new one in. So this is what was done. We hope you enjoy watching it. Remember to subscribe, give us a like, hit the notification button so you won't miss any of our videos. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Thanks. Bye.